President of the United States. So, Al, if you become president, can you get me a job? Boys, I did not have sex with that blue dress, and that's the truth. Hey, Monica. If we agree on nothing else tonight, we must agree that there are a lot of Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton jokes going around. And Newt Gingrich has been collecting them for me off the internet. As I look out at you, I can tell how some of you must have felt when they told jokes about your affair. But... <laughs> you know why Hillary didn't have any more kids? Monica swallowed them all. <laughs> and did you hear that Monica's become a Republican? The Democrats left a bad taste in her mouth. <laughs> did you hear why Monica couldn't become a doctor? She sucked as an intern. <laughs> but... <laughs> This is a very, very great country. A judge just threw out the DNA evidence on Monica's dress. It seems that everyone in Arkansas has the same DNA. <laughs> you know, the folks in Arkansas are really proud of me. All these women coming forth to accuse me of sexual misconduct and none of them are my sister. But... <laughs> I, uh... Why do they always pick on us Southerners? Why, they even said LBJ had no class. They called Richard Nixon scandal Watergate. They're calling mine tailgate. <laughs> but... <laughs> What do Nixon and I have in common? We were both brought down by deep throat. <laughs> and Monica Lewinsky says, I kissed her breasts a lot. It's in her new book called, I Wore What You Did Last Summer. <laughs> but... <laughs> but seriously, she signed a new merchandising deal for her autographed presidential knee pad. And how about that George Bush? But seriously, it's wonderful to join you in the Silver State for this momentous occasion. A salute to Tommy Lasagna. <laughs> Tommy Lasort. Pretty good stand-up comic, right? But he was a better fall-down bowler. <laughs> but... <laughs> George Bush used to love to ridicule Dan Quayle. Quayle was so dumb, he thought the Gaza Strip was a topless joint. I'm glad to be here tonight. I wanted to be here tonight. Read my lips. I planned to be here. I really planned to be here, but... Something came up in Washington, Barbara got excited, and that was the end of that. <laughs> then I planned, when I knew I couldn't make it, to send Dan Quayle in my place. I was desperate. Matter of fact, I was going to fly Dan out here on Air Force One, but when the idiot got to the airport, he couldn't remember the number of the plane. <laughs> But we're not dealing with a full deck here, gang. We're not. Doesn't say much for me. I picked him. He's not too bright. Do you know it takes him two hours to watch 60 Minutes? But I'm not worried about this Monica Lewinsky affair. 
I think the whole thing's just going to peter out. <laughs> you know why Hillary wears pants in the White House? Because I can't keep mine on. <laughs> My biggest problem is I can't keep Air Force One in the hangar. <laughs> Did you hear that Hillary just wrote a book called It Takes a Village to Satisfy My Husband? <laughs> but do you know why I wear underwear? To keep my ankles warm. <laughs> you know, when they asked Jennifer Flowers to compare her affair with Monica, she said, close, but no cigar. <laughs> but you know, I practice safe sex. I don't light the cigar. And you know what the D.C. stands for in Washington, D.C.? Disappearing cigar. <laughs> you know what Monica Lewinsky and Bob Dole have in common? They were both upset when I finished first. <laughs> but... <laughs> And what do Monica's clitoris and the emergency defense button have in common? My finger. <laughs> and did you hear what Monica's favorite brand of condom was? President's Choice. <laughs> I guess a lot of you have heard that Monica Lewinsky called me Buttercup. What did I call her? Suction Cup. <laughs> and you know Monica's favorite kind of pickle? Bill Pickle. <laughs> and Bill Gates is in town showing all the computer executives how well Windows 98 works. But computer executives disagree and say that Windows 98 goes down so much that they're thinking about renaming it Monica. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about changing the name from the Oval Office to the Oral Office. And I've also been thinking about changing the presidential anthem from hail to the chief to kneel to the chief. <laughs> I also want to change the Democratic Party logo from a donkey to a condom because A, it represents inflation. B, it halts production. And C, it gives you a false sense of security while you're being screwed. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, Woody Allen gave me advice on the Monica thing. He told me I should have admitted the truth, told the country to mind its own business, and then I should have married Chelsea. <laughs> and you know what my last gift to Monica was? Spot remover. It, it was called Come and Gone. And I'm gone. I'm out of here, kids. Mm -hmm.